Hi guys and welcome to this brand new video of full tutorial. In creating a manga right after the pencil drawing comes the inking, which is essential, guys. The inking technique was born as a necessity of the inking process, as the pencil lines were difficult to be reproduced by the press. Nowadays, it's considered even itself hard, and many people, especially in America, work just with it. While inking, the artist is not just focused on retracing the pencil lines, but he also has to develop the original sketch, adding new lines, details, shadows, and why not, maybe even some new parts to the drawing. In the manga industry, for example, mangakas, under the continuous pressure of their editors because of the strict rules related to deadlines, have no time to complete the pencil drawing with all its details and go over it once more to ink it. So, to speed everything up, a manga artist usually relies a rough pencil drawing to ink it right after that. No man, loro hanno gli assistenti che gli fanno il loro lavoro, hanno tempo di fare quel cazzo che ne hanno voglia. Tu mi vieni a dire che non c'hanno tempo di fare qualche scarabocchio. Yes, mangaka do have assistant, but guys, still the sensei gets to do all the important work, of course. For example, Masashi Kishimoto, the author of the well-known manga Naruto, clearly explained that it's its own job to ink the drawing, while assistant are just paid to apply screen tones, blacks, and to add the backdrops to the page. Well, after this first introduction, let's now speak about the tools you need to ink. Let's say there's a line between Western word, which inking process concern the use of a liner, and the more traditional East, which instead still uses pen nibs and Indian ink, no matter what. As we are speaking about manga, so basically comics from Japan, for those of you who doesn't know where Japan is, just spin the world map around and check it out. I was saying, as we are speaking about manga, here's our tools. The pen holder. Typically voodoo made, you can decide whether to buy the cheap one, like this one, which I bought like at 50 cents downtown, or you can choose to buy the Japanese one, like this yellowish kind of thing, which I bought at like 5 euros or even more. Don't you think I could have spent them in a good plate of pasta? The ink. Pay attention to the ink you decide to use. The ink is evil. I tried thousands of inks all over these years, from these cheap ones to the brand one, like this Pelican, which is which is from Germany. I don't know if you can find days in America or in Asia, but anyway, if you do find these, leave it in the store. This is the ultimate sh**. I suggest you instead to go over some Japanese ink, which really guys, I don't suggest them because we're speaking about manga, we're speaking about Japan, but because Japanese inks really make the difference. Seriously. Anyway, if you want to stay on something cheap, here we have our The Later Black One, which is 
great, guys, it's great. And it's also alcohol proof, so you can use it with your markers or with your copics, it's fine. And finally, our nips or tips, whatever, there are four types of Japanese tips, but I'll show you just the two most used, which are Maru Pen and the overrated G Pen, which is so famous that everybody around the world knows it. I don't know if it's this manga fault. Both of them are pointed nib which means they have a sharp point and the thickness of the line depends on the amount of pressure you put on the nib. The lighter you press, the thinner the line. And this allows you to modulate the line with just one stroke instead of going it two or even three times to have different thicknesses of the line. Thanks to this you can reach a lighter and softer and smoother effect which you hardly obtain with a liner. The main difference between the two nibs is the thickness you can obtain. The Maru pen has a thinner line, instead the G pen has a thicker line and it's even um, more easy to modulate. That's why with the Maru pen you should use more fluid ink. So with the G pen it's fine. The the letter black one, um, which I show you before. While instead with the Maru pen to obtain the same modulation of the line, I prefer to use the Manga Black Kuretake. Even though this ink, the Manga Black. It's not alcohol proof, so um, pay attention to use it with alcohol base markers like Copics. There are thousands of other things I would like to say, but as the video is becoming a bit too long, I would say it's all for now. If you have any question, I'll be glad to answer. And if you have any suggestion on what the next video of pool tutorials should be, you don't have to do anything special, just leave a comment down here and let me know what you like, what you don't like, if the length of the video is alright with you, let me know everything in the comment below, like, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. See you on the next video guys.